Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to, back to my Let's Play on Victoria 2 as the North German Federation. Um, so last time we managed to come up with a diabolical plan that is completely foolproof and has absolutely 0% chance of failure, guaranteed, approved by NASA. So last, so we decided to go ahead and declare war on Russia for this territory. Well, whatever. And if we get it, awesome, cool, whatever. That's fine. But the ultimate goal is to have a high enough war score and jingoism in our nation to be able to go ahead and add a secondary war goal, being Alsace-Lorraine. And with that, we can go ahead and be one step closer to um, forming the German Empire. So without too much further ado, let's go and get into it, shall we? Alright, who are you? Are you guys are farmers? You all are. You are farmers. Um, left or right, left or right, left or right. Let's bring you over here. Oh, we can act a form. Mm, nah. Sneaky, sneaky Frenchies. I guess they got access through, uh, bottom. But that's okay. Because they will... Oh, stop. Alright, if we go here... We'll have that little bit of river crossing. Won't we? They have 4,000 infantry and like 17,000 cavalry. Looks like this entire province is like surrounded by water. So if we go up here and then go south maybe, we can avoid the uh, uh, river crossing penalty, I'm thinking. Alright, let's check that out. Did we actually manage it? No, we still got it, unfortunately. Okay, keep going. So we have minus one from there, we have plus two for our leader, which is good. Oh, stop, I saw you. I see you over here. What's going on over here? Assist. Get in there. You guys do your thing over there. Let me check over here real quick. Alright, come back, come forward, come forward. And come up here and help. Yeah, see, he's running away. He knows what's up. So we won a battle. Let's go to it. It's over here. Let's get over here and help these guys out because they can't do it on themselves some, for some unknown reason. Gosh. Actually... I see you coming over here. Bottom, can we get access, please? Yes, we can. Awesome sauce. Why are we losing? Come on, we're in the force. Oh, we won, actually. Holy crap. Surprise, surprise. But goddamn... I don't understand why we lost that so badly. Let's check this out here. Can we get somebody else to replace him? Morale plus 30. That'd be nice. Eric von Schwarzberg? Are you currently assigned? Eric von Schwarzberg. He is unassigned. Alright, so let's go ahead and replace you with him. Okay. And hopefully he can do a better job. What is this? Okay. As soon as these three group up, we'll go ahead and just have them come over here and have fun with this German army. Or Russian, sorry. Wow. Over here, Warsaw. There's those. Okay. Doing good, doing good. See, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Good job, buddy. You know, you have like minus two to your defense. I swear to God, don't make me come in. I 
Alright, he won that battle. Much to my surprise. Actually, you know what? Have you come up here and you can come back here. What kind of general are you? Attack plus three. Oh, yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah. We got that. You won a battle. Okay. So you guys are up here. What are you guys doing? Not a whole lot of anything, are you? Alright, you leave one there. Let's go ahead and move over. We've engaged the Russians. Right, we're losing. We're losing. We've won a battle. Awesome. How are we in the war score? We're seeing it. 4%, which isn't that bad. We're being blockaded, which is an issue. Oh, that's right. We have uh, Kingdom of Sicily and Sweden. How are you guys doing up here, Sweden? You guys making any progress? Not really. You're still moving. All right, you guys are still coming up. Okay. Sorry if I'm micromanaging a little uh, on the heavy side, but yeah, obvious reasons. Where the hell is he going? I don't know. All right, we finished our next tech. Uh, let's go ahead and do... Let's get some coal. Alright, I want you to come over here and help out. And then come back over here. Actually, come over here and then down. There we go. I just want to make sure that we win this actual battle here. France, what are you doing? Go away. Alright, as soon as this guy's done, he's going to engage that French army. You're done? Awesome. Get over here. You want another battle? Which is what I like to see. Alright. Um, You guys stay here. And you guys stay here. You, on the other hand, can... Yeah, go there. We are funding our army. Yes, we are. Okay. Just want to make sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So the war is going relatively well, in my opinion. Um, we're winning a lot of our battles, which is great. I think I'm just going to have this army here siege all the way up to the capital of St. Petersburg. Probably just ba 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 ba. That's what I'm thinking. Alright. How are you guys doing? You guys don't look too good. Alright, where are you going? Come here and then here. You come down and around. Nope, come here. Here. And here. And then come back here. Alright, there's those orders. What's going on over here? You are all annoying as hell. Let's have you come here and have these uh, farmers assist. If need be. I don't think it would be necessary, but... Oh, there's a crisis going on. We can't do anything about it because we don't care. And the uh, crisis actually didn't even manage to get any international interventions. All 
Oh, holy clusterfuck. What's going on down here? Alright, so there's those. Sweden has finally begun his invasion of Russia, which is what I like to see. Kingdom to Sicilies is also engaging Russians, as they should be. See, we got all these little Russian peasants here, and they're just really annoying. But overall, we're doing really well. How are we? We're doing 17%, which is nice. Can we add a war goal? No, we can't because our jingoism is not high enough. Which is a really stupid mechanic in this game, I think. You are going there. I want you to come south. We still haven't taken Warsaw either. Alright, good. He managed to engage that army. We're engaging to the French. Everything's working well. Uh, come down here, and then come over here. You can come on up. I don't see any other French men in our nation. How are you guys doing? You guys have an army occupying your lands, just so you know. You should take care of that. That's what I would do. Oh, maybe you are. Okay, forgive me. We still have this one French army here, which is a pain in the butt. We're going to try to get rid of him ASAP. But yeah, we're doing well. We're just winning wars, winning battles. And that block aid is hitting us with uh, minus 7 to our war score. Unfortunately, we're not a naval powerhouse by any means, and neither is Sweden for that matter. Yeah, you can just see just all navies, all Russian navies. Where are, what the hell? All right, you get the fuck over here. Oh, okay, okay, click that, click that. There we go, there we go. And you come here. And yeah, you are composed of actual soldiers. Come up here. Come over here and come back. You're done. Come on up. You're done. Go that way. Actually, come over here. We might need you to attack this French army. Yeah, this blockade of mine, um, this land, uh, land army blockade isn't really doing much. Considering they're just like going around through other countries. Which is really, really a pain in the butt. I have a peace offer from Russia. That's awesome. So they're willing to offer us what we initially went to war with, and we can't get Alsace Lorraine from France. But should we just take it? Just get out before this goes south? That's kind of what I'm feeling. We're at 27, 6. Could we add another war goal in Russia? No, we can't. Our people are tired, they don't want to fight anymore. All right, let's bounce. Yay, more land. Let's go ahead and demilitarize or demobilize. Yeah, we're not demilitarizing ever. So yeah, that was actually uh, a win for us. A win for the side of justice. Now we've conquered some lands over there. Let's go ahead and look south to our neighbors. <coughs> Bless me. Excuse me. Pardon me. So. But yeah, we uh, managed to take that land. I'm 
Not gonna lie, I did have my doubts. Despite us having a foolproof plan, I did have doubts. Wow. Holy tiny armies. And that will give us five years of peace with them. Which should be good. I'm st Oh, God. We are going to have to go to war against Austria. Um, I guess now the Netherlands also. And England later on. Um, now, Russia, I know you're mad. Can we be friends? <laughs> we can be the three best friends that anybody could have. No? The hangover? Anyone? No? Okay. God. Alright, well, that's there. I'm just going to take a look at the diplomacy screen. I want to see... Okay. Yeah, we beat the crap out of Russia. I am thoroughly content with the results of that. Uh, let's see. Does this place have any factories currently already built? www. I'll take that as a no. Yep, they got nothing. All right. And what do they have? How much coal do they have? Ten. Seventeen fruit. Some grain. Cattle. Sheeps. All right. And we can't build a factory because we are no longer currently selecting that. There we go. Now then, let's build a factory. What do we want to build? You know what? It has some fruit. I like fruit. Let's build a winery. Why not? I am okay with that. What's going on here? Russia's friendly. And they're neutral. Let's go ahead and go here. Actually, let's go ahead and keep you at one point. Decrease the opinion of Russia. There's that. Let's go back to Russia and increase our relations with them. Hopefully, we can get them to not hate us anymore. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you see that, guys? Uh, uh, diplomacy. Russia. Look at that. They are ninth in the world. They are going to lose their place if they don't like, get their stuff together. Bavaria is going to come up. Good on you, Bavaria. Good on you. Even though we have to go to war with you eventually. And they're currently allied with all these minor states. They become a great power. They should keep all those alliances. The good news is, if we do end up going to war... No, we can't do it. Well, maybe we could. I'm trying to think. How much would it be to... I'm trying to think. Alright. So we go to war with Bavaria. Bavaria, Bavaria, whatever. These people. Austria, Baden, Wurttemberg come in. But then Austria takes over because they're the stronger nation. And then they call in all their allies. Well, it doesn't really matter. Does it? It doesn't matter at all. So we are still going to have to go to war with Austria, United Kingdom, Netherlands, Baden, Bavaria, Wurttemberg, Luka, Modania. Parma, Tuscany, and Krakow. Krakow, you are so adorable. I want to just, like, annex you. You're a little one minor state. Ooh, technology's done. Let's go ahead and hit up early railroads again. How are we on those railroads? Are they not done yet? They're still working on them. They're still working on, like, level zero railroads. Yeah, you're like one minor state with 100,000 people. You got coal, which is nice. You're Polish. What's this? All right. Let's see if they can find any edible plants. Or we support our boys. Let's go support our boys. Get more prestige. All right, what's going on here? Let's have you bounce over here. And Austria, what's your military tech looking like? 
They're sending at 58 brigades with 7 out of 30 technology for the military. And we're seeing at 10 out of 30. Hmm. Okay. Um. Denmark, your secondary power, no allies. It's going just by war. We're gonna go for a place in the sun, and hopefully no one notices. Now the reason why we're going with a place in the sun as our Casus Belli, so that way we can establish ourselves our own foothold in Africa. Is Denmark? for some unknown reason to me, has this little sliver of land right here. And if we declare war for it, we take it. And we have our foothold in Africa. And we can go ahead and then start to expand. Yeah, we'd have to come here to Togo. Take it, then we can come over this way. So yeah, as soon, so that means to me, as soon as we're done with our early railroad system, that we should go ahead and start working on our navy a little bit so we can actually have some ships to um, increase our colonial power. The only issue is that we have a negative modifier. It's not really an issue, it's more of an annoyance, is that we have a negative modifier to our naval tech research. Which is fine. We'll make do. Okay. Let me see. All right, get rid of this. I'm tired of looking at railroads. So we've been encouraging soldiers to come up and join our ranks in those various provinces. They're at five percent each. Let's go and change that up. Let's go down here and down here. <clears throat> so yeah, that province that we took actually gave us half a million more men for our nation's population, which is great. State capitalism? Or state capitalism. So yeah, I'm feeling. Let's go ahead and strategize for a bit, shall we? What's this? An end to Danish imperialism? Good call. So we go ahead, declare war on Austria. And when we do, it's going to be for admit hegemony. Basically, that means that these are German states should belong to us in our sphere of influence. Uh, residency. And then if they agree, fine, whatever. Then they come in our, our sphere of influence. And then we can hopefully ally them. And then go to war with France for Alsace Lorraine. And then boom, come Germany. So let's go and plan our attack. So we're going to go ahead and come in. I say we go in through here. One army come here, take this little bit of land. And then just have them continue to just take out these smaller, uh, minor Germanic states. Baden Wartenberg. While the he is the second army, kind of comes in through this uh, north of Bavaria and takes them out. Yay, we did it! Change our ruling party. We can't do it, not yet at least. Close. Hey, we got a zoo. Okay. Well, that's going on. Kingdom Two Sicilies here will come up from the south and take out all these. Um, what are they called? Italian kingdoms, if you will. Alright, so we've done it. Let's go and do it. Uh, we do need an army up here. Let's have you guys come on up. Time to step up. We're sending in the fourth army under the command of Maximilian Pegasus. I mean, what? Maximilian? Yeah, actually. Von Holstein Gold of Gold. Ah, fuck it. I don't know what I'm trying. And who else? The 6th Army under Gustav von Roon. He has a lot of attack. He has plus 1 to defense, which is nice. Which I suppose is what we could have used over in uh, France. Alright, we have it. Let's do it. Play war. Place in the sun. Danish Ganda. Now, I just want you to know that I'm only doing this because I love you. Actually, Sweden, want to join us? Want to get on this? Very likely. Hey, they joined us. What 
Do you have a navy, Sweden? Question mark? I don't think you do. No. But then again, neither does, um... Come on. Come on over. Why can't you come over? Hey, they're already offering us peace. That was easy. Thank you. Nothing wrong with that at all. So yeah, now that that's been done, we now have our foothold in uh, Africa. How is our bank account? We're sitting at 100,000. So, all right. And ladies and gentlemen, with the conclusion of the war for our foothold in Africa, that seems like a good uh, place to end the video for now. So I want to thank you guys for being here with me today. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next adventure. So until then, have a good day. Bye.